you kidding me? Oh, stop dropping the wall. Stop dropping the wall. One of them. Oh dear. The hospital. Again, all my loyal subjects, and welcome to winter. <laughs> anyway, I'm waiting for my heater to heat up. It's so cold. <laughs> anyway, but welcome back to Sam Shindig Studios, and today we're going to bring you. You know what? Just, just listen to that music. Sad music makes you remember that. Everything has an ending, even our beloved Earth. It could tell of adventures, but most likely, I'm probably screwed I'm about to die. Welcome to Seven Days to Die. Now, there's been a lot of controversy around this game. I mean, a lot of people have said, yes, play it. And a lot of people have said, no, it stinks. The graphics are terrible. But let me remind you guys, the graphics were terrible on Minecraft, and you know how addicting that survival game was? Exactly. So we're just gonna jump right into this new game, and you're all wondering, oh, why are you selecting a girl model? I'm sorry, man, but I am very picky on this because the girls are the only people that actually look like the real people on here. <laughs> the guys all have gray beards, or are I don't know monks. They literally have a monk character in there and stuff like that. And then when you put armor on them and stuff like that. Then they will actually look like really blocky and the armor won't look right. Or if you give them just a regular shirt, they will look like they have boobs. It's so weird and messed up. I mean, it's just like, what? So, yes, I'm going to be putting it on like the Walking Dead type of stuff here. I think it's already left on from my uh, test stuff. Yep. <laughs> I think it's about time to jump into this. Oh, wait. <laughs> we'll just get... It's so funny because when I got this game, the cashier at Walmart was just like, he was sitting there and he had this strange look when he looked down at the game. And then his friend walks over and he's like, see, I told you people were buying that game. He's just like, yeah, but I don't get it. And I was like, well, it's a really fun game. All right, couple straight in there with a looking daze expression like we just survived a nuclear blast somehow, which I think is kind of the story here. Well, this thing can be unforgiving plays, you know. You know what, you guys can pause it if you want to read that really bad. I don't know who Noah is there, but yeah. Okay, so as you see, we start out with our nice handy dandy torch. Our first aid kit. One can of food and one bottle of water. And that's chili. We're making some interesting smells after I ate some of that stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna search the sedan here. Ooh! Iron Arrowhead, that's actually going to be really helpful later on. Of course we start in the ash biome, where everything is on fire, and if you take one wrong step, you will light yourself on fire. Like, if I step on that, I will have lit myself on fire completely. Let's go through here and search it. Nothing in the refrigerator. Search the stove. Nothing in the stove. Coffee grounds. Those aren't very helpful. Well, I guess I could make some coffee, but... I'm kind of focusing on other things right now than coffee and kind of wanting to live. I think I'll just beat up this this bed here for a little bit. Okay, that, that's not getting me anything. I really need that. Okay, I'm going to go out and start actually doing what it tells me to up in the upper right hand corner. I am on fire. Crap, I told you if it's stuff on the... Are you kidding me? Uh, stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Oh my gosh. There we go. Let's see here. Okay, there's a small stone, I'll need that. I need another small stone. I just threw that stone for no reason. I thought I could like bash the tree with it, but now I've lost the small stone. Okay, let's go down and find another one. I just bash the tree with my torch. Eh. Eh. Urgh. Urgh. Yes, the power of this torch. Just to get some fibers, which just some grass here. Also, if you notice, you can sneak around, which is really nice. It helps, like, it'll tell you if you're scented or if they're hunting you or if you're detected or not. 
Ah, uh, we have a lot of stuff. Let's go craft ourselves a stone axe. This is going to help us tremendously. This tool is used so much. Are you kidding me? Like, this tool is just used an umpteenth amount of times. I am still using it in one of my gameplays, and I have the ability to make rocket launchers and AK-47 stuff and stuff like that in that gameplay. So yeah, that's just telling you how useful this stone axe is. Let's collect all these fibers so I can get myself some actual good clothes. Mmm, fiber, fiber, fiber. Good for your soul. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna start go I'm gonna go ahead and start collecting these rocks too, because they'll be used for arrowheads and that's gonna be really helpful. The bow and arrow in here is an amazingly helpful tool. It's a very quiet way to kill a zombie. Or a deer. It's very good for hunting deer, which will give you a lot of really helpful stuff too, so yeah. Ah, I have enough. I shall craft myself some some fiber clothing. Okay the I'm just gonna say the plant fiber hood. It looks like an Assassin's Creed hood. Like, I seriously love the plant fiber hood. Like, it has no health. Look at that, it's one, but it looks so freaking cool. Look at that hood, it's so awesome looking. And then when you get the bandana and the, the glasses on and stuff like that, it makes it look 10 times cooler. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more fiber, just in case I need to craft myself another axe. I'll need feathers and those. Yes, I can adventure to the Stone Age. That's about right. I have a wooden club. They'll never fight me now. I'm gonna go ahead and make the bow. Mmm. Me, Gort. Me be able to beat other beings senseless with my club. Oh, good. Some feathers, maybe. Eh. Start making some arrows. There we go, that's what I want. Get a ton of wood. I'm just gonna cut down this tree here. Epic, epic cutting montage. <laughs> and now you can see the awesome animation. Yes, when you cut down a tree. Oh my oh god! My <laughs> Of course, one, like, a couple of things away in my, my stone axe springs. Oh my goodness. Just build another one real quick. Do, 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 do. And boom. You cut down a tree. Okay, that was kind of a fail. It to the ground. It just falls over and actually looks like it, it falls over. It's really cool. So I'm just going to run over here real quick and cut up those beds so I can get some cloth fibers. What? Oh my gosh! I keep lighting myself on fire from that stupid little fire trap in front of the door. Ugh! I'm gonna kill myself that way, probably. Jeez. Let me just find some other way out, other than going through that same doorway. I'm actually advancing kind of rapidly through this. Could it be one of the monsters that my grandmama always spoke about? One of them, an icon left by a time like Let's just kill it. Okay, we're gonna use the stone arrows. <laughs> Those zombies look actually really cool. I'm just gonna say that right now. And there's a deer over there. Oh my gosh, no way. Who can say where the road goes, where the day flows? Oh, he's dead. Oh, okay. Search you. Baseball cap! Now this deer. Sandwich and big stocks as well, Fred. Let the hunt begin. You know, you're freaking kidding me. Finally, we must skin it. <laughs> okay, that sound effect. That sound effect for, for harvesting the meat. 
<laughs> it sounds like I'm literally punching the deer. Oh jeez. I must get a bone. I have to have a bone. If I get a bone there, I have a bone. Okay. Now onward with my journey. I have of course left the ash biome behind. Look at all these pretty flowers. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> I literally used up half of my arrows that I used on that deer. Like, oh my gosh. I use I did collect a wrench. That was helpful. I'm gonna make a bone shiv. That way I can get more meat off the deer and all that whenever I get a deer. I'm going to need another stone axe. What do I need? I need some small stones. Time for some small stones. There we go. Small stone here, small stone here. Everywhere small stone. <laughs> yeah, joke trap. Anyway. <laughs> Oh dear. I just realized that sign. That's the city. That city is completely covered in zombies. You know what? Who cares? I'm gonna go search it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just that sound is ridiculous. Stupid wooden barricades aren't anything. <laughs> Primitive. Dang. I'm gonna start getting some stuff off this car, maybe get some scrap. I'm gonna search it first. Actually, that'll be really helpful. Ooh, some more iron arrowheads. That's actually really nice. Ah! But more importantly, I need iron. Get some gasoline. Ooh, get some cloth. Gasoline, more gasoline. I really don't have much of a use for gasoline yet, not at least until I get the mini bike. So, not gonna pay too much attention to that, but this cloth is very helpful. I will use it. I will use it to further my, my research. I got a little bit of gas, though. Jeez, I just want iron, I don't want gas. This will work. Or an oxen. <laughs> Should be like some scrap iron beams in the road or something like that. Or... <gasps> the hospital! Yes, this place has like a ton of scrap iron in it. Perfect! Iron! Okay. I'm getting this iron mostly because in the end when I build a door and all that and board up one of these houses so I can stay there safely, then uh, I'm gonna wanna put some extra protection on there. Hmm, I'm getting hungry and thirsty. But I still have ways to go before I need anything like that. Let's get some wood. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're going to have to rebuild some of that stuff. Oh, of course. Still need some small rocks. I don't like that sound. Was that a zombie? Wow, I love how the second I lose my axe, a lot of really unnerving sounds come up. Sam, so you lost your axe. How would you like to die? We're coming for you. They know I'm defenseless. I only have this torch. Which actually, the more I think about that, this torch would be an amazing thing. I just like burn them and smack them with it. And like the end of it, if you look on the menu, it's so pointy. It'd just be like, stab it in them and then burn them with it and then stab it in them again. But no. Oh well. Do -do 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 -do. Give me that little stone axe. All right. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places. That's it for this episode, guys. As you can hear, that zombie is very hungry and, yeah. Well, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Remember to subscribe. And the next one, I will be definitely going after that airdrop for you guys and just seeing what we can find in there and seeing what amazing stuff we can, we can see. Those usually have really good schematics. Like gun parts in it and stuff, so this will be good. Alright, of course, see you in the next one.